Hey up YouTube, how are you doing? I'm here today at Gambier Terrace in Liverpool and you might be wondering, well why are you there? That's a very good question, I don't really know, nobody else comes here. Certainly the tourists don't come here. But I've come here for a very good reason because it's on this road here where John Lennon stayed with Stuart Sutcliffe in 1960. What actually happened was John had left his his family home and he was now a young student and he was kind of homeless so he asked Stuart Sutcliffe if he could help out. Stuart lived here at number three and uh, which is this door right here incidentally and they lived here um, and asked and Stuart asked the guys who lived here on the first floor flat just there if, uh, if John could join them and he did and they would have walked from here just around the corner to the art college. What I'm hoping to do today is recreate the walk that John would have gone through back in 1960 to the door step, to the steps of the Institute, or the Art Institute, where he and Stuart Sutcliffe went. Um, Paul McCartney and George Harrison, by the way, would have absolutely definitely have been here as well. And uh, it was a major hangout for people to come and, I think, I'm not even sure if, I think the Institute might own this or something, but it's in a very posh part of, of, uh, of Liverpool. But although it's posh, I think the flats was a bit trashed back in his day. You can definitely see that it's a very kind of posh sort of housing area. It's not like your traditional student digs. So let's think, in the morning, John and Stu would have come out of this door, come down the steps here, and taken a walk down this route towards the Institute. It's such a nice little spot, it's very central. Um, and I think they would have felt, I think it's a pretty cool area to live in, to be fair. Uh, although John Lennon wasn't from a particularly poor family, uh, I think he landed on his feet finding these digs. I love this little corner here. I, I immediately, instinctively, sort of <laughs> sat here to sort of think about what I was going to do. And I'm absolutely sure Paul McCarty, George Harrison must at some point have sat right there I thought about something completely different. I mean, it's the absolutely perfect have a cigarette spot, isn't it? Next to the gate, just up from the flat. So this is Gambia Terrace. And as you come out, you come out onto a busy main road. Uh, it's a junction. And over here, you can't see it because of the sun, but there's the cathedral there. And then you're down into the main part of, well, Quite close to the centre of Liverpool, to be fair. Let's get into the shade a little bit. And you can see it's like a really nice area. You see it's like nice little streets. This is Canning Street I'm on now. And it's like in London, this would be this would be posh in London. So it's gotta be posh for Liverpool. So they would have popped out of there. And then just walked across the road here, a little crossing. It's not a very busy road, so you can pretty much have only traffic. Who wants a car here? Don't stop for me. Oh, why do people do that? And there's a little corner shop just here. It's just closed, I think. But that would have just been a normal house. This is all exactly as it would have been. Back in John Lennon's day. I wouldn't imagine this would have changed much. Uh, from now to how it looks now, is how it looked in the 60s. This ugly building wouldn't have been there, but that doesn't matter, because the one there would have been, and all these would certainly have been here. So you're pretty much seeing what John would have seen through his eyes as he walked down this street. And here we are now at Back Canning Street. And then you continue on down, what is this street called? Is it <laughs> yeah, stop the video. Stop the video. Uh, that red doorway there that you can see. Um, imagine uh, people standing st on top of a roof of a car with the back to that doorway. And that modern building I said probably wasn't there, probably was there because it's in the photograph of John Lennon sitting on the roof of a car next to Cynthia. And uh, I missed it completely as I was walking down here. I couldn't believe it, but I spotted it afterwards. And I apologize, keep watching this video because I don't miss another trick. Nothing, nothing else could possibly go wrong. So 
this Hope Street? You continue on down. I think this is Hope Street. And uh, yeah, you'd be chatting away to your mate Stu, wouldn't you? Hey Stu, I wrote a song. Oh, did you, John? What song did you write? I told you, I'm having a good time. for this yet. And as we come down here, you'll start to notice it gets quite a few like youngish people about, students, because of the Art Institute is uh, literally just down here on the left. So it's not really a very long walk at all. Old building there. And down here, we're crossing over the road now. And coming down here, where's the, where the pillars is the Institute. It's a very fancy Georgian road. Stu and John probably skipped their way down here gleefully excited about their day of lessons painting stuff and that. Are you impressed with my knowledge of art and the history of uh, Johnny Lennon? What's that say? It says 1835 to 1837 Liverpool Mechanics Institution. Charles Dickens gave reading here. Readings here. Oh. And you come up the little slope here, and there you are. Hey John, hey John, what you doing? Nice to see you, George. Hello, Paul. For what, Paul? There'll be all that sort of banter going on. Cigarettes smoked here on the steps. Everyone having a good time. Yeah, stop the video. Stop the video. Uh... Sadly, it was at this point that I accidentally put the camera into the wrong mode. I put it into time-lapse mode and all my content was lost as no audio was recorded. But I've included all the footage anyway because I wanted to share it with you and you could pause it at this point. But it does show from the footage just how close the Institute was to the next location, which is John and Stu would have left the Institute, walked down this pathway here and literally just gone around this corner and further down this street, which is Hope Street continued. Uh, and very shortly, you come across this side alley here. And down there, there's that white building, which is Ye Crack Pub, which was their local. And they drank there with their faces. This is the, definitely the original glass, Holdings Beacons Ales, and these are definitely the original tiles. In fact, it's all original. Probably not even been repainted. Incredible. And the thing is, this isn't gonna be here forever, you know? So I just think it's good that we document these things. And uh, here it stood. Get a bit of Beatles memorabilia. Yeah, John used to drink here with Stuarts That's and uh, Paul. Do you, do you own it, do you? Do I own it? <laughs> so no. it's in your pub, no? No, <laughs> no. Do you get lots of, um, do you mind if I film you? Sure. Yeah. Do, you, do you get lots of, uh, are you local to Liverpool then? Uh, well, I'm from Dublin originally. All oh, right, I've just met a couple of folks. Yeah. All yeah. right. I've been living here for like five years because of the Beatles. Oh, I oh really? You're a yeah. big fan? A massive fan, yeah. yeah. So, what, what, what? You said John and Stu Sutcliffe? Yeah. What, what did they do? They drank. They drank their uh, Guinness with, what were they called? Black Velvet. 
black velvet. Is that right? You know that sort of detail? Yeah. Yeah. So this would have been the local pub just because of convenience, I would have thought. Well, it was because, um, you know, you have Gambier Terrace just up the road yeah, where been there. John and Stuart used to live. Uh -huh. And then you have the Art College just up the road here. So it was like the halfway point. To They're just too lazy to go further afield. But yeah. And that would have been for quite a while, wouldn't it? A couple of years at least. Um, yeah, say 59 to 61. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. But you're a big Beatles fan. Massive, yeah. So, so what was it that brought you here then? Are you a musician? I'm a musician, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and we, have you been disappointed? Or have you been inspired by being here? It's absolutely inspired. It's the greatest city in the galaxy. Oh. It is. It's the oh. capital of Ireland. Ian <laughs> Ireland. John Lennon here. Oh, how do you do? All right. John Lennon, Paul McCartney. How do you do? Ringo Starr. An Irish man here, George Harrison. Hey, let's look. There's the, you know, I keep telling people there's more Irish flags flying in Liverpool than in Dublin. Oh. You know, it's, it's kind of strange, like there's a, an affinity which goes back for centuries. So, there's a, a fake blue plaque just here. It says John Lennon, 1940 to 1980, peed against this wall 47 times between 1959 and 1961. I don't think that's true. Well, there you go. You didn't know that Liverpool has such big ties to Ireland. Well, I'm going to conclude my little trip to Liverpool, retracing the tracks of John Lennon at the crack. And uh, we'll leave it there. Take care. Bye-bye.